Queen's Gambit declined, semi Tarusk, main line, exchange variation, 6, NXC37.BXC3CXD48.CXD4BB4 plus 9.BD2BXD2 plus 10.QXD2011.BC4NC612.OOB613.RAD1. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center, gains more control over the e5 square, and strengthens the d4 pawn. E6 prepares the d7 d5 pawn push while also opening up lines for the dark squared bishop. C4 gains space on the queen side and center, and prepares to develop the knight to C3. This strikes at the center with a pawn, fighting for space. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. C5 fights for central control, attacks the d4 pawn and prepares to develop the queen side knight behind the c pawn. Cx d5 captures black's central pawn. Recaptures. This kicks an opposing knight. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is an equal trade. After all captures, this is an equal trade. Takes back. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This blocks the check from an opposing bishop. This is the only move that works. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. Recaptures. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. The rooks can see each other now allowing them to provide mutual defense. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is the last book move. This ignores an opportunity to develop a bishop by placing it on the long diagonal. It is an inaccuracy. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. This develops the bishop and gives it scope on the long diagonal. It is best. That's fine. It is good. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is good. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is excellent. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. The pawn is now adequately defended. It is best. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is best. This misses an opportunity to move a queen to safety. It is an inaccuracy takes back. It is best. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. This threatens to activate a rook by getting it to the seventh rank. It is excellent. This fights against the opposing rook for the open file. It is excellent. A solid choice. It is excellent. This is an equal trade. It is good. Recaptures. It is best. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This misses an opportunity to centralize a knight so it controls more squares. It is a mistake. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is best. Takes back. This is the start of the end game and black is equal. It is best. Very precise. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. This is the strongest option. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players.